The next bit that we really want to look at is uh, administration pointlets, because there has just been a remarkable amount of change, remarkable developments in administering the portal. Really starting with ePortal 3.2, where we saw the introduction of the portlet manager, which is this portlet here. This is a, a new interface, new as of ePortal 3.2 for managing portlets in the portal, replaces the old channel manager and does a, a remarkably better job. But with uPortal 4, the list of new administrative portlets is quite a bit longer. For example, there is the user manager here, which allows you to browse and perform some management functions around users. There is the groups manager, which similarly allows you to navigate the group's hierarchies or group's uh, graph in the portal and do some management functions. And then another new one, uh, which is really exciting, especially because the old one was so, um, so unexciting, is the permissions manager, which you see here. This portlet allows you to you know, sort of audit, review, browse the different permissions in the portal. And, and they're organized into categories and into a hierarchy and classified in a compelling and approachable way and allows you to manage some of those permissions. So, you know, the next little deep dive that I'm going to do here relates to that. We're going to um, illustrate sort of a real-life scenario of something that you might want to do with these tools. So, uh, to start out, uh, I'm, I'm going to become a different user in the portal. I'm going to use uPortal's uh, impersonation features to become a user named Jane Student. Uh, as you might imagine, this... Uh, this individual as, is a student. As a manager, as a highly privileged user of the portal, I have looked up this user called Jane Student, and I'm going to use the impersonation features to, to become that user. You can see, in fact, that at the top of the screen here, it says I'm now signed in as Jane Student. That's because I'm impersonating that user. And let's say that uh, Jane Student wants to get in contact with me, so she's going to search for Wills, which is, of course, my last name, using the search box at the top of the portal. We have that search function integrated, uh, well, with two things. Uh, at the top, we have search results from Yale University's Google Appliance. So it's integrated with a Google Appliance at Yale. And not that I knew this, but uh, apparently there's a lot of Wills's doing important things in connection with the Yale campus. But we also have this search box integrated with Unicon's Active Directory. So you can see that it's able to find me based on the last name input, Wills. And if the user clicks on that link, you can see a bunch of information. You can see attributes for me coming out of Unicon's Active Directory, including my email address, the department I'm in, and then my desk phone number, you know, where you can reach me at my desk. Well, let's imagine that we're not really happy with this, that maybe we're not comfortable with students you know, at our campus in our organization being able to, to bring up phone numbers like this out of the directory server. Maybe that violates a policy that we have in place. And so we want to make some adjustments to that. You know, we want to change the permissions so that's not possible. So I just signed out of being Jane's student, and I've become myself again. You can see it says I'm signed in as Andrew Wills. I'm going to go ahead to use of the uh, permissions manager. I'm going to look at the permission for viewing user attributes, and I can see right here that, oh yeah, everyone has been granted the ability to see the telephone number attribute. And that's exactly the problem here. That, that violates this new policy that I'm making up. So instead, I want to make it so that only employees of Unicon can see the uh, see that attribute, the uh, telephone number. So let's see, I'll go ahead and deny that permission to just anyone, but in fact I'm going to grant it to employees. So based on the changes I've just made, make in this administrative portlet, if you're an employee of Unicon, you'll be able to see that information, but if you're not, if you're just anyone, you won't be able to. Then I'll go back into impersonating that same person, Jane Student. Exactly as I did before. And then I'll search for Wills up here. Exactly as I did before. 
and verify that based on the uh, permission change that I've made, in fact, this user is not able to see the telephone number. So there is a, a deep dive, a quick example of using these newer administrative portlets.